Microsoft just announced a hardware event for October. Let's dive in. What's up everybody, Brad here back again. And Microsoft today, uh, just a little bit ago, sent out invites for an October event. Now, the invite is very minimal. Let's just, just honestly just dive right into it here. Uh, the invite is very minimal in itself. You got some nice clean looking lines. You've got uh, New York, New York. Obviously this is taking place in NYC on October 2nd. Uh, that is not February 10th, which already happened 2019 for all those European folks or basically everyone who doesn't use the American way of dating things. But Microsoft is having a hardware event, and this is my favorite kind of Microsoft event because there's lots of things you can touch, right? There's usually Surface devices. Sometimes we get some headphones. Well, these aren't gaming headphones. Sometimes we get a whole bunch of different random things. And so let's talk about what, uh, what I think we might be seeing here. So for starters, it's taking place in NYC, which is where Microsoft traditionally has announced all of their Surface hardware, minus some of the very early stuff, which took place way out in Milk Studios in Los Angeles. But like this bad boy behind me, a lot of the updated server stuff, a black Surface Pro, all in New York. This is where Microsoft likes to do it, and I will be there. What I think we are going to be seeing here uh, more than likely, we're going to obviously we're going to be seeing an update to a lot of the Surface products. We're going to see new chips, uh, definitely USB Type C on the newer hardware. And I, I still don't know if we're going to see Thunderbolt, but I, I hope that we do. And I'm also hoping that we may, might see some new uh, music peripherals, if you will. Uh, might be different colors. We'll see what Microsoft has up their sleeve. But this is kind of going to be a very packed fall because we have this thing on October 2nd, which there's something a little odd about the way Microsoft sent this invite out because typically in year for all the years that I have been doing this, Microsoft has always sent the invites out very, very close to when the actual event happens. Um, for the initial launch of the service RT, it was like four days. Typically they give us about 10 days uh, notice that, Hey, we got to be here for X, Y, Z. We're looking at four ish, four to five weeks, something like that before Microsoft's event, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we all, I, if you've been watching the podcast and the channel, you know that I've been saying there's been an October event for a while and here it is. So getting this much of a lead time, I'm very appreciative of Microsoft, very appreciative because I got to buy, buy flights um, and it's much cheaper five weeks out than it is two weeks out. But what else might they be showing off? I'm curious if we're going to see Teams for Life at this event, a, a software story about Microsoft's Teams platform, which has been growing like crazy inside the Office 365 umbrella. That could be on the agenda as well. Um, potentially some new peripherals are going to be lined up there. I'm not expecting the uh, major overhaul to the Surface Pro, codenamed Carmel, that was originally supposed to launch this year. I think it's going to be a more modest update. What I'm really hoping is that we are going to see an ARM-based device based off the Excalibur system on a chip that I detailed earlier this year. That would seem to make a lot of sense. Microsoft needs to get into the ARM hardware arena. They are pushing their partners that way. And if Microsoft isn't walking uh, face first into that stuff, well, then uh, yeah, it would be a little awkward if they didn't announce something like that. The other thing that's kind of important to keep in mind is that IFA or somebody, some people call it IFA or whatever, takes place uh, next week, about 10 days-ish from now. And that is where we see a lot of hardware announced for the fall holiday shopping season. And so Microsoft is clearly preempting that saying, hey, like, don't forget about us. We are going to have a hardware event October 2nd. Now, with all that stuff coming out um, in a few weeks, well, a week or give or take or so, uh, we should start to get an idea of the flavor that we're going to see. Now, the big question is, are we going to see Centaurus, the folding devices that Microsoft has been working on? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping... It'd also be interesting, too, to see if they're going to talk about Windows Lite at this event. That might be a little... Well, maybe not. I, I'm still hearing that it's going to be a 20 h one potential release. And so talking about it um, at this fall event, wouldn't it be crazy and out of the ordinary? It would be a good time to finally start pushing back because Chrome, or Google, I should just say, just announced Chromebook for the enterprise. And so, yeah, they, they've got to start pushing back on that low-end, uh, low-maintenance, low-overhead type operating system that Chrome OS is. Microsoft still does not have a viable alternative. They even just kind of neutered Windows S by allowing Win32 apps if you're using Intune. That all aside, that all aside, um, I don't think we're going to see a Surface phone. That was the first thing that came up um, because people people really want a Surface phone. And I, I, I hate to break it to you, but Microsoft lost about $10 billion uh, going after the phone market. I don't think they're going to be going after it again. They just announced a really cool thing with Samsung and the Note 10. If you want a Surface phone, Get the Note 10. That is going to be your closest thing to a true phone in that flavor. Now, 
That All this being said, Microsoft has also announced another event that some people are tying into this, but I don't think it's related. So Microsoft has also announced, announced their XO event for November, which is an Xbox-related event happening in London, I believe at the Copper Box Theater. I don't think these are related in any ways. I don't think we are going to see Scarlet hardware um, at this event. I don't think this is going to be Xbox in any way. And maybe, maybe you can, I don't, I would, the only thing I could ever see them announcing is maybe like a controller, but I don't think that's going to be there. Um, this is very much Microsoft's time of the year where they talk about Surface hardware. And f- candidly, the Surface hardware has done pretty well for Microsoft. It hasn't quite hit $2 billion in a quarter, but I'm holding out here. Um, I still remember writing the post of when it crossed $1 billion and it's in revenue. Every quarter is bringing in about a billion dollars. Now, That all being said, Surface is still not profitable inside of Microsoft, which is a little bit hard to imagine, but (laughs) margins on hardware are incredibly thin, but I don't think Microsoft is going to be leaving the Surface hardware market anytime soon. I mean, the Surface Pro has defined a a category. Microsoft is the market leader when it comes to brand recognition of those type devices. It'd be nuts for them to back out at this time. So what else might they do there? I don't know. Well, it would make sense too if they would talk about Windows 10, right? They could start talking about 20H1, um, the new features that are going to arrive to that. Uh, Microsoft has a a long history of doing that. That's where they announced the creators update alongside this thing. I believe it was alongside this thing uh, on stage where Microsoft talked about Windows 10, the hardware. And they did it a little bit. uh, Actually, last year is where they announced, was it your phone, I believe, uh, first made its appearance at a Surface event. So, What I'm trying to say here is I think this is going to be a pretty large event. I'm hearing that um, it's going to be a pretty packed house uh, from all sides, from people invited. Because when we got invited to the Surface Pro Black 6, whatever version uh, it's called, um, it was really, really intimate. It was like myself and maybe like 20-ish other people at the event, maybe a little more. And then just Panos himself. I'm hearing that this event is going to be much larger, which means Microsoft is very excited and thinks that they've got something special for this type of an event. It's going to be a big deal and not just another minor revision across the board for some products or for all the products, I should say. I think we're going to have something, I think we're going to have something special here. So that is coming in October. Now, the other question is, is historically, a lot of this stuff has leaked, including from people like myself. A walking cat is probably getting up uh, his his little web crawlers and everything that he uses. And a lot of this stuff tends to show up early, but October 2nd is on a Wednesday and October 3rd, which I'll be in New York for anyways. Um, Anyway, so October 2nd, the question becomes what time? Last time Microsoft did this, they did it pretty late in the day. I candidly hope that it is early in the day. I like things that start at 9 or 10 a.m., not having to wait until last year was like 4 p.m. And I remember we were sitting at a bar waiting for the event to start uh, when we started seeing like Panos and Stevie Batiste walking. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What you need to know is there's an event coming October 2nd. I don't think it's going to have Xbox related stuff. It's going to be a Surface branded event. We might see some other consumer services because Microsoft, despite the fact that they haven't had great success in the consumer world, they were trying to push that family productivity. There used to be a product called Skype for Life, uh, which was some codename branding. And now I think it's Teams for Life has been the maturation, if you will, of some of that other stuff. So I'd be curious to know what you guys would like to see out of Microsoft. I know Thunderbolt 3 is, or Thunderbolt from Intel is really high up there. Um, We're either going to see Cannon Lake or Ice Lake. Oh, by the way, it wouldn't surprise me if we finally see the AMD Surface laptop by the, that would be a nice change because I think Intel is losing their firm grasp, if you will, on all aspects of uh, the Surface hardware. Granted, I know that Intel typically wins the performance race and they have better chips at a, at the at the edges, but Intel or A at Intel. AMD has made significant strides this year in uh, improving performance and cost and everything else and they're starting to offer very viable alternatives. Whew. That being said, I've also heard rumors that Microsoft has contemplated making a traditional desktop for the Surface family. Not sure if that's going to happen or not, and I don't expect that we would see it at this event. That being said, Microsoft is not putting any form factor off the table because despite the fact that this thing has become pretty widely known, like the form factor, I don't think it's had a wide scale success. The thing, the thing is still very expensive. In the This is the first generation. The second generation didn't really help too much with the price point. I would still love to see a service monitor, but I don't know if we're going to be seeing that one at this event. So... There you go, guys. Um, if you have any requests or things you'd love to know about, um, I, actually, candidly, I'd just love to know what you guys would like to see. What could Microsoft do 
that is going to get you to buy the Surface hardware aside from a Surface phone. I know the first comment's going to be Surface phone and I don't blame you, but that's unfortunately not going to be happening. So drop a comment below, guys. Um, that wraps it up for this time. Just be on the lookout for that October 2nd event.